Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dactek, and today we're playing some more Factory Towns. So, in our last episode, we managed to get our economy fixed a little bit. Just look at that. The coins were coming in ridiculously. I had to make a few little tweaks over here. It's like the pipe I'd got going there was blocking this conveyor belt. <clears throat> we needed more just storage for these crystals, and we needed more output for it. At the minute, that's fine. It's working. I also had to do a little bit of a tweak over here as well. Um, because this had all stalled up. Now we've got mana power going out completely, constantly. And it's generally keeping it going. If anything, we're running out of books. So I could turn this up, but I'm just going to let that chug along. What we want to do is we want to get this research unlocked. Because that is going to give us the magic conveyor belts. And I want to be able to get magic conveyor belts started before I start ripping things to bits and starting again. It's like I'd considered removing all of the resources from here and flattening literally all this bit up here. But then I thought, what's the point? If we're only using metal conveyor belts, <clears throat> we might as well wait until we've got the magic conveyor belts. So, what we're going to be looking to do today is get um, air crystals being made. So they're produced by an air temp... Oh, I see what's going to happen here. Excuse me. Right, where is our air temple? Right there. We need mana crystals and air ether coming this way. That might be a bit of a problem. Should we just add to the spaghetti for now? I think we might have to, to be able to get air ether over that way. Or then again, we could just make this set up again, but I don't really want to have to. Now, let's continue the spaghetti. Have you stored up on these? If I put a grabber here for air ether, do you pull out of that? No, you don't. Right, we're going to add to the spaghetti for now then. Uh, we're going to split this off here, and I think we need to just come up a ridiculous amount. Let's go up onto there. Up onto there, up onto there, and up onto there. God knows how this is going to work for a little while. Up like that, and up like that. We basically need to work backwards all the way from over this way. Oh, I've got another fun thing that I um, discovered off camera to show you in a second. Just bear with me. <clears throat> We need to get mana crystals coming this way as well. That's going to be fun. Although we can just bridge them off of there and up this rickety thing. In fact, I'll show you the new thing that I found. Um, we unlocked prospecting last time. And I wondered why it came up in a great big message in front of our screen. Um, we'll just do this. So coal. Where are we mining coal from? And where did we think it was a bit sparse? Um, I was getting coal from over this way, wasn't I? Yeah. So... This is going to cost me red coins and a pickaxe, but I can actually place coal where we want it now. So I can actually make a massive ring around this. I'm not going to go ridiculous with this, by the way. I'm just proving my point. All of this can now be mined by this. Oh. And as you can see, they've all been grabbed. Let's just cut all this back. Because I don't want this one over here anymore. What's the point? Um, I can go all the way across there. I can go all the way across there. And I'll go all the way across there. We just need a connecting line between them all. Look at all the nodes that has got now. Look at all the nodes. We can basically mine wherever we want at this point. And that is now connected to 123 coal ore. That is ridiculous. <clears throat> I can't wait to rip. We're going to be ripping everything up. Although the game seems to be a little bit stuttery nowadays. Only when I'm zoomed all the way out like. But in fact we've got enough yellow coin. Can I unlock the rest of these? They are quite expensive. I can't unlock all of them. We've only got a few more left to unlock. Anyway, one thing at a time. We need to get air crystals coming into here. Yeah, I'm just going to go down like that. 
So that should be a uh, ether coming into there. Now we need to get mana crystals following the same path. Oh god. Spaghetti is going to be an absolute nightmare. I'm not bothered at the minute. This is going to work. It's got to. <clears throat> and we're still generating ridiculous amounts of coins. If we have a look in there. Plus 100, plus 169. That did just flicker to 70. But who even cares at this point? Um, let's go like that. And can... I'd rather you bridge the other way around. Just out of curiosity. If I press R... No, it doesn't bridge in a different way if you like try and rotate it. Fair enough. Oh, no, we need to go backwards. And then forwards. Bring you this way, bring you this way. Right, now we've got to bridge all the way up this monstrosity. Up, up, up. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. They look like the same peak. I might actually split it off there. Oh, I've not got that one going there. Yeah, that is the same peak. There you go, there you go. Let's backtrack all of this and then come full. I'm glad that didn't place there. Oh, no, we need to go backwards, don't we? We can't go backwards. Oh, I'm stupid. There, that's why we can't go backwards. And then we can come all the way forwards, get the mana crystals coming. Nope. I've played so much Factory Town today, it is not even funny. I'm properly getting addicted to this game now that we know what's happening. And it's not that there's an end goal in sight, but we're getting towards the end game stuff, aren't we? Realistically. Can I bridge off this way, like that? And then bridge that way, like that? Like I say, I know it looks a bit of a, a state, but it's fine. I wonder if we can power this with even more steam. I'm not going to yet, but we could. We could. Let's just see if that actually works. Yeah, it works. It does cost us gold... Co uh, yeah. It costs us yellow coin. We did get an achievement. Not that you can see it down there. Steam achievement for getting air crystals unlocked. That is going to make this a little bit tighter. But the only problem I've got now is I need to get that all the way back to the school. <laughs> oh, dear. I now regret building this right in the middle. How are we even going to do that? That is going to look absolutely abysmal. The easiest way is going to be to come back along this line. I, I can't wait to need to know this up. You do not even realise. Up and up. Up and up. Up and up. Oh my god. Up and up. Up and up. Up and up. Right, we're on to the flat bit now. Um, if I just bring this all the way down, is it going to be nice? I don't trust it to do that properly. I'm going to do it myself. And there, and reverse. All the way back up. And then if I put a grabber here, we've got earth crystals. Or is it air crystals? I think it's air crystals. Oh god, we've got to go all the way back down this side now. Back down. Back down. Keep coming. I might as well just go up another one there. It's still not really going to work it out, but screw it. Oh, it does. They are the same height. I didn't think they were the same height. Uh, right, let's get these coming all the way back along here. And again, I don't trust the game to do it and not break things, so I'm going to do it myself. Get these air crystals coming back this way. 
I do hope we've got enough research that we can get this unlocked today so I can at least get magic belts done. So then I can start clearing stuff ready for the next episode where we're probably going to be actually um, ripping basically all the farms up and redoing them. Right, is it going to be smarter to just come straight across this way now? I think so. Yeah, let's just drag this straight across this way. And actually, we might as well. Are all these the same height? They kind of are. One, two, three, four. Because we can't exactly pull out of that height anyway. You come across to there. I do hope there's no um, splitters joining anywhere around this. <clears throat> We're going to get there. Don't you worry. You need to come up and up. You need to come up and up. Right, we might be able to... Yes, it's joined it in the right way. <clears throat> it's alright, because we need to do this with all the different crystals at some point. Now that is a very slow production, but <clears throat> it is going to allow us to get our uh, air purification sorted out. You know what? I want to wipe you all the way up to five workers. Let's get this done as quickly as possible. We're not going to get enough uh, magic books coming out of here to make this work, by the way. Yeah, we're not making enough books. You know what? Screw it. We've got workers to spare. What do I need, actually, for the next level? Oh, it was crowns and necklaces. Nope. Not doing that yet. Although, we're going to need to at some point, because I have only got, like, 52 more workers to go. Uh, you're going to need to do even more paper for me. It's not getting to the point where it's backlogging, like, but we can get this to go through even quicker. Yeah, it's not bag logging at all. So there's no point you being up to five. I mean, two might cut it now. It doesn't even seem like two's going to cut it. But anyway, we can just leave that to tick away for a while. <clears throat> My coins are still coming in. Yeah, yellow coin has slowed down a fair bit, but I'm hoping when I can redo this, we can streamline it more and make it more efficient. It's like we're hoping to get steam power on all of it as well. Because at the minute, the only place we've got steam power is on these grain mills. But I've got a plan. <clears throat> we're going to make it all very, very neat and tidy. Really, we could do with some more yellow coins coming in. Um, what other buildings did we have? There's the gourmet foods. And there's the speciality goods. Oh, that's where you sell jam and cheese and sandwiches. <clears throat> Cakes. <laughs> oh, dear me. Fish stew, veggie stew, meat stew. What have we got in here? Anything that gives me... We can sell crowns. Just out of curiosity, what does a crown take to make? Um, gold ingots, iron plate and air power. Oh, that's why you need all the different ones. You need more power. Is there only one of each temple? Because I know there's a fire temple over there. Earth temple over there. <clears throat> water temple over there. And air temple over there. So there are no more temples. The only power you get is from this. I am curious as to whether you can suit these up with speed power. At uh, steam power, even. That, and you know there's some other things like these that we've not had a look at. A block that counts up whenever a signal is triggered. Math block. A block that enables mathematic operations between trigger signals and... I don't know. 
will store any value received and output it after specific, specified amounts of time have elapsed. I was just wondering if there's a way. Board gate? Can block path movement? Mm, no. evaluates one or more input connections and produces a true one or false zero message based on agent trigger calculates information based on agent trigger I mean I want to try some of this stuff but because I'm thinking it's like this is a one-to-one -one ratio we didn't really need two paths coming this way maybe I could have played with some of the logic things and just had one gate that sends alternating things although really thinking about it if i have one facing into each other it's going to evenly split anyway and just to demonstrate what i mean like let's just i'll just play around with this for a minute Yeah, I know what, how I want to do it. <clears throat> it's alright, we'll sort these in a minute. If I do that, although I'd rather them be at an even distance, so they're actually going to get here at the same time. This should basically alternate them. No, it doesn't. It goes two at a time. A block that triggers another block's output without modifying it. Count number? Number block? Can be set to on or off states. Compute block. Nope, that does nothing. Well, it doesn't do what I want it to do. Not necessarily nothing, but... Hmm. Then if we go to this, I have no idea what I'm doing, just so you know. No, I'm not even going to play with this. Let's cut it all back, remove it. I'm going to have to have a play off camera and see if I can properly work out how to use these or even go and find a guide, maybe. And sort it out. How are we doing for our research while I've been playing around with this? We're on 21 out of 100. We need more books coming in. Can't actually do that. <clears throat> it's just a waiting game, really. I don't want to mess about with it too much. We're very nearly full on metal conveyor belts still. Uh, excuse me. Off camera, I've made sure that all of our mines... A setup. I've even gone and grabbed a little bit more coal from this way. I mean, these mines are never running out. It's not like I've actually got to set them up, like, massively, but it's just brilliant. I absolutely love this game. It is amazing. All that's joined up, all this has joined up. Everything's running still. Nothing has stalled in ages. In fact, am I pigs still going we've actually filled up on selling pigs we're backlogged on them that is absurd you know what we can do while i'm waiting i think we can slowly start to get rid of this path of pigs because we don't need them anymore 
probably be easier if I was literally straight above it. But yeah, we don't need these picks coming from this direction whatsoever. This is why I need to be careful. Because I'm only cutting the picks back, nothing else. I know, I know. And this can get deleted. That can get deleted. Just doing a little bit of uh, tidying up. What did I just cut there? I just cut actual axes. If I go straight above this, can I just strafe across? Yeah, yeah I can. Is there any way I can boost axe production now then? Well, no, it is completely full. I have got steam power over here. Well, that's how you can boost it then. Stupid. I know it's occupied. Oh, I'm using, trying to use mana pipes. Let's just bring this up. Over and down. There we go. You know what? I don't like how that's joined on there. It's kind of awkward to get in here at the minute. There we go. <clears throat> now it's at the bottom. And you're still full. You're staying full, but we should get even more red coins coming in now because that's producing even quicker. I can't wait to get it all steam powered. We're literally just waiting for the um, research. I'm going to leave them there. I'll probably forget about them and then wonder why they're there at some point. But Why does my fabrics not seem like it's um, up to much? I mean, I can add steam power to that, but really we're only selling fabrics. And they're fairly... Not well backed up. Fair enough. I'm wrong. Still, coins are coming in well. I wonder if there's a cap. I wonder if 9999 is the cap. Probably meant to be one more 9 on the end of that. Research, how are you doing? Only on 34 still. We need more books. I could make a hash of this. You know, the easiest option? Just add a little bit of steam power. Because so I can put that right there. Where are we getting coal from? You can burn wood. Although I don't think that's good because we're short on wood as it is. There's no coal coming anywhere close around here. No, not really. I think that's a little bit out of the question then. I mean, I wonder how far you can drag steam power. Let's have a look, shall we? Supply, demand. It's still working. No way. <laughs> that is ridiculous. And that is still getting. It's supplying 500. Demand is 300. Number of producers is 1. Number of consumers is 3. But that wasn't the problem anyway. It's getting more wood in here that is the problem. I mean, you're kind of good at the minute. No, I don't think I want to mess about with it too much. That is ridiculous, though. So, really, we could have one steam power network. Like, multiple of these grids joining together and steam power absolutely everything. That way, we'd probably be able to get the minimum amount of workers we need for each place. 
if that makes any sense. I, I really want to demonstrate what I mean, but... So, like, I'd have a line of steam generators across here, join them all up together and have them all supplied with water and coal from a single mine, maybe, if that would support it all anyway. And then they'd all join their pipes up at the front end into a line of mines that would then feed all the other things that we'd get going. And then we've still got these two little dudes all the way over here. You're doing good work there. Keep it up, sirs. Keep it up. We could also upgrade these massively, but what's the point? I don't need to at the minute. The only one I did upgrade massively is this one. Because I wanted to let a few more mana crystals into the system. But it's not power that we're having the problem with anymore. It's um, the input of bugs. Have I not got wood coming from anywhere else? I've got wood coming from over this way. Now, I think I just need to be patient. I'm not patient. Cut all them back. Remove resources. Let's get another workshop right there. Yep. It's a lumber mill we need. Stupid. Right there. I'm not even bothered that that's connected to water. We're going to completely ignore that. You can come up. You can go there. And up there. None of the rest of the uh, town is um, in a tidy state at the minute. So why should we bother about it now? And you can come down and into there. Give me a grabber. You know what? I'm being an idiot. We don't actually need another one of them. All we need is more wood coming into this one, which I've conveniently just boxed in. Because then we can just turn this up. <clears throat> if we need to, that is. See how well that keeps up now. See, there's still only one worker in there, and that is supplying paper like nobody's business now. <clears throat> In fact, I think if I turned this up, it wouldn't. There's no reason to turn it up. It is very slowly starting to backlog. So that's now speeded, speeded, sped this up. Not to the point where it's, um, you know, producing enough paper, but still, that's essentially just doubled it. And that's five workers there doing that. We're up to 53%. It's getting there. What time are we on? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to make mana belts this episode. We could actually set the infrastructure up. Mm, I know it's made in a mana forge. So it basically needs our metal conveyor belt production plus air crystals. And I'm making metal belts over here. So it basically needs this system that we've got right here. Plus earth crystals. Are we going to need earth crystals for anything else? No. Once you've got them, you've got them. Apart from we're going to need them for power at some point. <clears throat> I could actually get that set up ready to go, couldn't I? Um, it was a magic forge, wasn't it? We're going to need coal from somewhere, I think, as well. Magic conveyor belts. Then it's going to need earth crystal and coal as well. We can do this. Again, I know it's a mess. But we can live with a mess for now, can't we? So that'll supp uh, supply fuel into there. That'll put the metal um, conveyor belts into there. Then I just need to bring the earth crystal back around this way. Which will actually be relatively easy. Uh, 
and then... Oh, no, that's brought wood. What have I done? My bad. Getting a little bit carried away there, aren't I? A little bit uh, excitable, it would seem. Might as well bring some earth crystals around this way ready. Yeah, they're not interfering with anything else. And then when this is ready, not that we really need to do anything else now. We can actually just cut that. You'd go into there. And we'd have a grabber coming out of there. So just to double check. We've got them coming in. We've got them coming in. We've got fuel. We've got blue coins. How are we doing for blue coin production? Plus eight. And that's a con... Well, Alright, then that jumped up very quickly. So yeah, we can make these magic conveyor belts. <clears throat> Bit of a mess. <laughs> but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And we don't really need to make any more metal belts. Because if I look in our base... We've got all them. We don't even need cloth conveyor belts anymore. I've not used them for so long. We don't need this coal. We don't need this iron. I'm keeping the gears. We don't need depleted mana crystals or nails. We've got 999 books in here. You know, I'm a moron sometimes. I need it to go in that. Unless that's full. Half of our production's been going into here, just for upgrading things. Mmm, stupid. Uh, we don't need them, we don't need the air stones, we don't need the air crystals, and... Tool used to chop down trees. You can't supply these with axes. Well, that seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Why can you provide pickaxes, but you can't provide normal axes? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? How are you doing? You're fine still, absolutely. 87... We're getting there. Slowly but surely. I mean, it does take 40. And one of these enchanted books gives... Where does it tell you? An enchanted book only supplies 20, so we need two books for one tick of this. But they are coming in a lot nicer now. Come on, give me them magic belts. We're so close to end game now. I'd consider magic belts to be end game. We've just got to sort out all this spaghetti. How are we doing for earth crystals? I mean, it's backlogging. It is taking an actual age, but... Surely there's got to be a way to... Um, produce more air crystals or make earth temples or something. A powerful stone crafted from all four purified elements. Omni Temple Construction. That might do it. Yes! Wait, what was that? Um, where are my metal belts coming in? Because I need to take them off the belt. The only problem I've got is I can't get that one right in the middle there. I'm looking for that first blue belt. There! If I just put a belt down. There we go. That does it. How fast are you producing? Needs to be much faster than that, sir. How would you like a little bit of um, steam power as well? And that tile there. Oh, need to come one further across. And bring you down to the ground. It's making them as quick as humanly possible. Oh, we've got magic belts. We've got magic belts. I wanted to look at this Omni Temple. Oh, you can make temples. You can literally make everything in this game. That is ridiculous. 
Um, you need to get researching just something else. You're not going to be able to do it for now. Um, we actually need to cut that back now. Because they're not going to do anything. In fact, this isn't going to do anything either. I'm just going to set it going so we've not got that annoying book in the way. And this literally makes one with one. That's going to take an awful amount of time, isn't it? We unlocked something else, though, with that research. I want to have a look at it again. Um, school. And it'll be right at the bottom. Add air booster. What's an air booster? Farming and magic. Not in there. None of them. Is it in pipes and tools? No. Tools? Oh, you can grow grass. Oh. Fair enough. Uh, decor? No. Pipes? No. What is an air booster? It's an upgrade, is it not? Ooh, the, we're a little bit low on ether. That's why it's not producing as quickly. Oh, I hope this mine isn't running out. No, it's not. We just need to turn it up a little bit more. Just bump that up to three for now. And then we'll see how it deals with that. I want to know where this air booster is. Mana reactor. Creates powerful omni stones from charged elemental crystals. Alright then, yeah. Prospect for fuck. We can actually make air stones where we want them to. Well, that would have been nicer like 10 seconds ago, wouldn't it? Plus. Plantment and regeneration of ore resources. I don't think you'd actually need them. Place gold ore. I mean, that's probably on the surface. Why would you want on the surface? I can't see where this air booster would be. And it doesn't really tell you much from in here. Hmm. Hmm. And we didn't unlock anything else to research. No, we didn't. I think maybe. It just increases the input from this. No, because that's still 100%. At least the ether's coming in properly now. Is that coal? I've got to try it while we're out here. Um, give me a steam generator. And let's just go bring a thing out from there. Just go up a little bit so I don't interfere with these. And across. No, you can't steam power these. At least it doesn't seem like it. Maybe this is the thing you sort of thing you could charge with magic power. Oh, what am I doing? Stop it. Yeah, get rid of that. We don't need it. Oh, we'll see. Can you join a mana pipe onto it? from any direction, no. Can't join normal pipes on either. No, none of them work. What is this air booster? 
And no, there's not a 999 cap. Jesus, look at the red coins coming in. I just want to know how to speed this up, other than making our own uh, temples. Not that we're going to be able to do that yet, but... What do we need to do this next? Oh yeah, we need to get gold and stuff going. That might be a problem. Omni planter, that unlocks the pipes. That unlocks the temples. And we need base level 9 for them. I'm going to have to Google this uh, booster thingamajig and see what it's all about. But I think that's where we're going to leave this episode off because I've run a little bit over again because I'm a little bit too excited about all of this. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more or comments and feedback. Greatly appreciated as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.